in this guy. Good morning, football. It's time to announce the way to play recipient. This is the honor that goes to a player who exemplified proper technique in week nine. The winner receives a personal letter from the commissioner as well as a $2,500 donation. Nice. The player's name to a high school or youth program football, football program of his choice. The winner for this week is Panthers guard Greg Van Roten. I want you to pay attention to this because you might have seen the run. But let's check out the big block by the offensive lineman. Pay attention to my guy, number 73. He's going to pull and kick out and open up a huge hole. He hits linebacker Wesley Woodyard, who is a monster. And Christian McCaffrey goes in basically untouched up until he gets to the five-yard line. But watch this again. You'll see him pulling right here. And what happens is you can pull and find a linebacker in the hole, and you can cut a guy. You can go low on a guy. But he decides to go up top, hit him with a shoulder, engage with his hands and then open up the hole by moving him out the way that's how you do it right there big Greg Van Roden I see you the big ugly the hog mollies they're not gonna show you love we will <laughs> so congrats to you GVR on the award you get $2,500 donation that will be made in your name and we can't wait to find out who will be the way to play recipient coming up this week now to my guy who always opens up things for us here Ooh. on the show Will Silva. What's up, Will? <laughs> What's up there, Nate? Smooth as silk, my friend, as always. Well, Panthers head coach Ron Rivera, he is certainly tired of answering questions about Cam Newton's health. Rivera saying it was a collective decision to place mm. Newton on injured reserve. Now, technically, Newton could return in eight weeks, but that means Kyle Allen would have played well enough to guide Carolina to the playoffs. Now, if that happens... Then what? Well, Rivera says this particular injury will not be addressed until it's time to address it. Rivera doesn't want to touch it, and who can blame him? Allen has won five of the six games he's started this season, but don't expect Allen to talk like he's now the franchise QB with Newton on IR. On my shoulder, honestly. I mean, my job is to, from before he went on IR, my job was to get ready to play every week. <laughs> And then when someone told me it was not my turn to play anymore, then that's when I would stop playing. And so it's still the same thing right now. So it's like I tell you guys every single week. I take it week by week. I focus on the simple things, and we try and go out and win games on Sunday. I have at least eight games to help this team win and get us in the playoffs. And so, I mean, I've told you guys this before, too. It's just, I knew when I got my opportunity to play in this league, I have to take advantage of it. Now I just have more opportunities afforded to me to play the rest of the season. Well, as for another NFC South quarterback, Matt Ryan, he was limited in practice with an ankle injury as Atlanta is coming off its bye week. Falcons head coach Dan Quinn saying Ryan is improving as the week has progressed and definitely is chomping at the bit. The injury sidelined him for the week eight loss to the Seahawks. Meanwhile, in D.C., NFL Network's Mike Garofolo reporting the expectation is that rookie Dwayne Haskins will be the starter again when Washington returns from its Week 10 by and host the Jets. It would be his second career start. Haskins, 144 yards and zero passing touchdowns are the fewest by a 2019 first round quarterback in his first start this season. Of course, Kyler Murray, 308 passing yards and two TDs in his first start. Daniel Jones, 336 yards and two TDs in his start. The Redskins offense has gone three straight games though without any touchdowns for the first time since 1950. So they need to get something going on offense, Kay. That is a staggering statistic, of course. Something going on offense might be Darius Geis. He's back at practice. The team cleared right. a roster spot for Geis. So hopefully he and Adrian Peterson can be a nice one-two punch. Thanks, Will. Yep. Coming up next on Good Morning Football, Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Back at practice, looking good. We have the pregame warm-up half sips. Are we going to see him on the field, though, Sunday not wearing that? And Baker Mayfield reveals why he went from full beard to mustache in a matter of hours on Sunday because...